sales, sales, and more sales. So <clears throat> let's break this down into two parts. One, uh, you're, you're, you're busy-ish, uh, but you know you can be busier. Or uh, nobody's coming. You need a lot of sales. So either way, the start point uh, is you need to know what the guest perception of your business is. So you're in it to win it and you're running the floor or some of you might be cooking, some of you might be just owners who are standing back scratching their head. Um, you've got a good idea of what you're doing, uh, uh, you know, of, of what the perception is. You know what a smooth shift looks like and you know what a rocky shift looks like and you know how many, uh, how consistent you are with them. Um, so you got a good idea, but... Uh, however, the guest perception of um, of what you uh, of what you do that's what matters, right? So you have to have some sort of you know guest feedback platform, ideally something of your own, you know something online or you know something on the receipt or uh, comment cards. I mean, they're still utilized everywhere. Uh, something that measures um, the four the four pieces of the pie. So measures your food, measures your service, measures your atmosphere, and measures your value, right? You know, those four key metrics, they, they've never changed, uh, regardless of what everybody keeps putting out there. Um, and a lot of the restaurateurs will agree with that. <clears throat> so anyway, so you need some sort of guest feedback platform. Now, if you don't have one, try to implement one, try to find one. Um, we do uh, a comic card server dashboard. Uh, we do offer that at www.corehospitality.com under the university tab. That's how I'm making this, but it's a good plug-in. But anyway, so try to find one. If you don't have one, at the very least, Google yourself. You know, check Yelp. I mean, you know, take take them with a grain of salt. You know, some of them are. But anyway, check Yelp. Check local. Check Facebook review. Check. You know, go online and check. There's a million and one reviews now. You'll easily get enough data if you've been kicking around long enough. You've been, you'll easily get enough data uh, to have idea how you sit, rank yourself one to five, um, how you sit with with those four pieces of the pie. Once you get that data, now you can build a plan, right? So, you know, if all four points are kind of registering low on your own platform or online or whatever. Um, you know, you're, well, you've got some work to do, right? Uh, generally, there'll be one or two if you're just looking to move the needle a little bit. You know, somebody might say something about the food program. Oh, it took too long or it was kind of cold or, you know, you kind of see, you know, sometimes they'll take pictures, right? And you see some of the pictures of, you know, maybe you're not there that day or whatever. Um, and it looks like slingshot, right? Slingshot food, where they just slingshot it on the plate. So not a lot of love and passion come from the kitchen. Now, maybe it's a service, you know, server wasn't attentive, they forgot this, they, you know, a million and one. So, okay, down service, right? And you'll you'll get a good idea for specifics. Uh, value wasn't worth it. It's rare to get a value one. That one is a lot more of your local market competition, like, um, you know, what you are and where you sit within your three mile ring, but you can still get some feedback on it. Uh, and then atmosphere, you know, a, a lot of them, a lot of it starts with entry uh, and washrooms. That's where they get the perceived uh, atmosphere, right? Um, and potentially music, right? Music too loud is a big one. So, you know, lighting is too bright. You know, it's eight o'clock on a Saturday and it's as bright as a cafeteria, right? So. You'll get that feedback, but it starts with the guest perception. It, it has to. Um, so let's do this in reverse. So if you look online or if you look on your own platforms and rave reviews, rave reviews, food, atmosphere, serve, everything, they, everybody loves you, um, you should be busy. You should be very busy. Um, if you're not, then it's it probably has to do with co the competitive market. Uh, you, your market might be saturated, um, which you know that's a whole different plan, a whole different video. But but typically, 
uh, you know, the guest perception, that's a future sales indicator. So picture this. So picture you have comic cards, we'll say, because it's easy. So picture you have comic cards and you're, you know, you're measuring top box score of everybody who gives you a five. So these people, these customers or guests that are giving you five, um, you know, they're saying, they're promoting you, right? With friends and family and I went, this place is amazing. Like they're, they're your guest ambassadors, right? That's what we call guest ambassadors. So if you're running fives and you're only measuring fives, you get a hundred comic cards in a week, we'll say. Uh, and you know, 80 of them are fives. That's really high, but 80 of them are fives. Uh, for service, you're crushing it in service. If uh, 80 of them are, um, you know, food fives, you're crushing it in food. Um, you should be extremely busy, extremely proud, celebrating with the team. So, it's also going to indicate that in the next few months, you're going to grow in guest count, and if you continue that trend, you're going to continue growing. You'll eventually have to open a second unit. Now, that's very optimistic. It's very hard. Top box score averages in our industry is around, for food, around 56 to 60. Service, usually a little bit higher, around 65, 70. Um, atmosphere and value, usually ride pretty, you know, but the same as service, but 70, 75. <laughs> a lot of people, like, there's people who pay attention to it, some that they, just, they want the food. So, um, you know, start, that's basically the video. Start with, you need a guest perception platform, whatever it is. Don't, you know, don't trust Yelp. I mean, you know, you've got to manage it. Um, you know, and all those online Google reviews and stuff, you got to manage it. you got to be a part of it. You know, that's where the social media gurus come in and talk about marketing, marketing, marketing. Um, you know, here's a philosophy on social media marketing. If your sales aren't there, it's generally not because nobody knows you're there. It's because you do a piss poor job. It's because you're average. Because you're not standing out. Right? That might not be fun to hear, but that's typically what it is. Or your market saturated. That's, you know, that's rare, but somebody in your market's crushing it, right? So, um, you know, the social media aspect is, is you've got to be relevant. Sorry, I'm going on a different tangent here, but it just bothers me. Uh, you got to be relevant. People are going to search restaurants nearby, and if you got good reviews or good feedback, they're going to go to you, right? So you, you need to be there. Um, but anyway, so guess, perception, um, you know, once you get all that data and you see any opportunities or whatever, um, then you can build a plan, rally your management team, rally your key staff, get a good plan in place, you know, to action the food that food scores are weak or whatever. Um, but it starts with guest perception. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Well, it makes sense because, I don't know, that's what, we, that's, what I've, that's what I've been doing, taught to do when I was a kid. It's just that it works, right? So, um, you know, you old schoolers and uh, hardcores, you know that. So, anyway, uh, if you have any questions about it, you know, PM us. Um, and I hope that helped. Talk soon. See ya.